Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I've got such a special build for you today. This is a Hans Christian Andersen build on a little open up book. Now, Hans Christian Andersen was actually the author of a whole heap of fairy tales, including The Little Mermaid, but not The Little Mermaid like you have heard it from Disney. Hans Christian Andersen, which was the original Little Mermaid, was a lot more grim than the Disney version. For instance, when Ariel gets her feet, every step makes her feel as though she is walking on knives. And then when she meets the prince and they do fall in love, but he doesn't end up marrying her. So no happy ending. And she actually throws herself into the sea at the end. So not quite the Disney version we're used to. So the Hans Christian Andersen build, let's do that. Let's build it. And inside the instruction book, there are some Lego scenes of some of his stories like The Princess and the Pea, The Little Mermaid, The Steadfast Tin Soldier, The Ugly Duckling, which we see a bit of here, The Snow Queen, Jack the Dullard, I love that goat, and The Nightingale, amongst other stories. So let's start building. First up, we have got the minifigures. And of course we need Hans Christian Andersen looking very dapper in his top hat and his fancy outfit. He has got he has got a quill here because he is sitting out in the park writing some of his stories and for that he's going to need something to write in so he's got one of his books here that starts with Once Upon a Time of course. What else could it possibly start with? <laughs> Maybe it was the best of times, it was the worst of times but no not for fairy tales. All right also we have got a little kid out here having a lovely time in the park eating a pretzel and he is very interested in what Hans Christian Andersen is writing wants to know if there are going to be any zombies in this story so we'll leave Hans Christian Andersen to deal with that and let's build the book this is just gorgeous and this was also one of those promotional gifts that you get from the Lego shop when you spend over a certain amount of money. So it is not actually currently a set that you can buy. So that makes it even more special in my mind and I really wish you could buy it because it's gorgeous. It is a gorgeous set. We're building the binding down here with some yellow stripes interspersed with the brown. Picks it up nicely. Actually, that's like the gold stripes you have on the old fashioned hardbound books. And now we'll build the book itself. Lots of building to do here, so let's do that. I love all these smooth pieces. I just finish it off so nicely. Oh, we've got some little hinged pieces there. And we're putting the pages now on the inside. So the tan pieces are going to be the pages that you're seeing on the inside and the brown pieces are the cover that you just see the edges of peeking out around the pages. And I put those in the wrong spot, there we go. And now we have nice smooth pages on that side. And this is where the pages fall off the ends. So the thickness of the book. Isn't that cool? Isn't that just such a great design? And some little hooks on here. Oh, this is going to be to attach this side of the book to the binding that we created before. So we need two of these, two halves. So here's the other half. Let's attach them to the binding. And we don't actually see the binding anymore when we flip it up and put it the way it's supposed to be. Isn't that incredible? It doesn't actually shut, so it's meant to be an open display book. That is awesome. Now let's see what is going to actually be displayed in this book. What story is coming to life out of the pages of the book, out of the pen of Hans Christian Andersen? We have lots and lots of little kind of moldy looking areas. Oh, no, no, they're not mold. They're, they're cobblestones. So it's cobblestones with the sand and the dirt and the, and the moss growing in between. That's awesome. And this is, oh, that's what the hinge pieces are for. So this goes in here and that, oh, this means that it can actually sit flat. Oh, so clever. So clever. All right. And on the other side, we've got a nice big pond. We've got a watery, watery pond in the middle of the park and some lily pads sticking out to the side. Lots of these nice translucent blue pieces that I love so much. They make such excellent water.
and now this part gets the hinges as well so it can sit on the other side so we've got the little cobblestone park and and we've got a pond on the other side and this printed piece is beautiful so hands christian anderson labeled down the bottom of the book and now we can smooth over all of these pages oh am i missing some pieces i'll just get these ones out of my stash so we can keep going okay all right and now we have got a little bit of a nod to one of Hans Christian Andersen's stories, The Ugly Duckling, and we have got a swan. So a swan swimming in the park. No, hold on. Can't swim in the park. Swimming in the lake in the park might have given him the idea for the Ugly Duckling story. There, look, the swan's in the lake. What else are we going to put over here? We have got, there's a little fountain in the lake. Is it a lake? Is it a pond? Is it big enough to be a lake? I suppose it might be. And some flowers over here because, of course, that's just lovely. It is just lovely. And now for the park side, you can't expect somebody as important as Hans Christian Andersen to be standing up the whole time. So he gets a park bench to sit on. <laughs> we'll go and install that. We'll sit him down first and we'll go and install it. And now, now he hopefully can't be bugged by that little kid anymore, asking him if he can put some zombies in his story. And what else do we need in the park? We're going to need a gas light, a bit of a lamp right next to the seat so that he can see. Oh no, here comes a little kid. He's come over here. I just figured out where I went wrong. I'm not missing a piece. At, I'm not missing pieces at all. In fact, you know what? In all of the Lego sets that I have built, and that is a lot, I have never, ever had pieces missing. So I'm not surprised. And normally it's always because I've done something wrong. So those were supposed to go there. I was putting them in the wrong spot. So now we are fixed and the world is perfect again. And now the little boy can come back over and say, hey, mister, you're going to put some zombies in that story? And he has to go home at some stage, surely. Oh good, all right, it's night time is falling and Hans is still writing his story and he thinks he might spy a mermaid in the lake, which inspires a new story for him. <gasps> the Little Mermaid, maybe. Who knows? We'll have to look into the future and see. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for joining me for this build. Isn't it just a fantastic little book? I've actually got the pop-up book to build too, so I will do that soon. I'm very excited. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more videos and click the little notification bell so you know when new ones come up. Check out some of my other videos because I have a lot of builds on this channel now and I will see you with a new video very, very soon. Bye.